bad at the end. It's just like she, she, she just teleports in the room. It's just like, I am offended. And then teleports away. That would be weird. Um, Wouldn't that be weird? Uh, take a fake attorney's badge. <laughs> What's that going to do? I don't know. Um. So it could be this one because he's nervous about the upcoming statement because there's a contradiction there. Uh, so, we present, I don't know, something. Um, we present, like, um, 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 a toothbrush. What looks the closest to a toothbrush here? Uh, the, the, the lunchbox. Hmm. <laughs> you know what they say. Using a lunchbox to brush Well, there shouldn't have been any time for you to steal the Magatama, so therefore... Uh, wait, you know what they say? Brush time does not exist in this world. Wait, uh, wait, wait uh, you know what they say? Using a lunchbox to brush your teeth twice a day is the best way to fight cavity and tooth decay. <laughs> yes. Um... Don't use a toothbrush, use a lunchbox. Because life... Don't take dental advice from us. We're you not dental. Time to steal the medicine. You had time to. Nope. <laughs> like, like I needed to say um, that. Yes. <laughs> of course, we're not dentists. Um. No one else in the restaurant. But then, why is it that? Um, that, I don't know, why is it that something? <sighs> there were no other customers, but there was you. Okay, f let's just press on everything again, then. Was he alone at his- no, was he alone at his table? Miss Wee, I saw him from the kitchen. Yet the defendant, Miss Bird, remembers it differently. She swears there was another man at the victim's table. Ha, huh. unfortunately for you, Trite, yesterday's witness also testified that the victim was alone. You know, seeing you scrum like that reminds me. Of a certain coffee's bittersweet bite. Did he just say bite? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh. Uh. Are you still there? We have lost Nick. Uh, we're going to end it here. Um, and, um, but we'll do the outro when Nick's back, so, yeah. Okay, right, go. Hello? What's your light? Oh, right, I'm thinking because... Maya's line is next, that's what. <laughs> so you're Phoenix for a second. Wait, what? Because, never mind. Uh, my coffee is drinking. It's not coffee, it's love. It's love that's bittersweet. 
Nick, he's saying he loves you. Why? It's called sarcasm because he hates your guts. I would say tell him the feeling is neutral, but I don't want to be mean. Nick says the feeling's neutral. No, uh, <laughs> that's not what I said, Maya, but uh, whatever. Neutral! Whatever. I know what you said. You s uh, I didn't want him to attack you. Uh, I was talking about <laughs> pancakes and popcorn. What? Oh, sure. Right, Maya? Uh, sure? See, very convincing. I don't even know what you mean by that, Nick. Exactly. Okay. No one does. That's why it makes sense. Yes, just just continue, Nick. You're doing my thing that makes her steam rise all of us. Me saying, just continue, Nick. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone's thinking right now. So yeah. continue, Nick. Don't continue. No, I said continue. Say By no. old man, you mean Victor Kudo, right? We, oui, he comes often for my special co- Oh, wait. I forgot. We need to- uh, We're going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. We, oui, he comes often <coughs> for my special coffee. I drank your coffee once, Mr. Armstrong. It's special. I'll give you that. Ow. It's worth a sip just for the experience. Oh, you make me so happy, Munger. You are most welcome anytime. I said it was worth one sip and nothing more. So, old Mr. Kudo arrived at the restaurant around the same time as the victim. Maybe I should ask about his arrival in more detail. Oh. <laughs> Why do I think we pressed on that already? Anyways. That's of... life. <laughs> yes. Out of curiosity, uh, about what time was it when Mr. Kudo arrived? Oh no, I cannot remember, Munger. Ah, mm, I believe I told, uh, we were told by, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. The crime yeah. was reported at 2.25 by a kind of scary old man, sir. There's the contradiction. See, I told you it was the lottery time, Nick. If it was five minutes after the lottery, oh, that's the wrong lottery thing. If it was five after, minutes after the lottery, then that doesn't explain the 50 minute gap in between that stuff. Yes. Good, good I, I don't know words, topic. but I, I can point out contradictions better than you, Nick. I just Good don't know job, how to speak Maya. them. I'm acknowledging your how good you are at job. Okay, yeah, we know it. We we got we got this. Yes. No, we. It. No, we know. <laughs> We know what to do. Hiya, what are you saying? After 2 p.m. Uh. 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 Uh.
something. Okay. There's, there was no time, but there was that time. I'm afraid I've finally got you, Mr. Armstrong. Qu Quoi? What, what, what do you mean? At the time in question, the victim was listening to the radio with his earpiece. The show he was listening to was Millionaire Radio. Each week, they announced the winning number of a half-million-dollar lottery ticket. We oui, that must be the show Mon Elg was listening to. Uh, I can't see any problem with this testimony. I wonder. You say the victim arrived at your restaurant after 2 p.m., correct? We, oui, we, oui, I am sure of it. I remember it perfectly now. I know it was that time because I had just finished serving the lunch menu. Get to the point, right? If you have one. Wow. That show is broadcast live at 1.30 p.m. Oh, also, Gatto, this is Maya's point. So... You can't say that it's completely stupid. Otherwise, you'd be insulting the wrong person. Poop. <laughs> that, anyways, that show is broadcast live at 1.30, and it claims to be the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life. It's on the air at 1.30. Now, supposedly, the victim was m the victim made some noise when it was announced that he had won. Some noise. <laughs> and yet, I don't believe his cry of joy could have occurred after 2 p.m. Because the show had already finished more than 30 minutes earlier by that point in time. No! This victim we've been told about has done nothing but the impossible. Listening to the radio with a ruptured eardrum, li lis uh, bleh, catching a show that was already over, there's only one conclusion you can draw from these facts. He was pretending that his ear worked and he forgot to set his uh, clock to the right time. N Nick, that's not the... Oh, right, uh, wrong, wrong objection. Um, the, the real one is th this victim was an imposter acting out the poisoning 30 minutes after the real murder. Yes, there were two Glen Elks in Trespian that day. The real Glen Elk, now dead, having been poisoned by the real killer. And the phony Glen Elg acting out the events for Mr. Kudo to witness. It was certainly and does seem that way. I mean that uh, it wasn't if yeah. You know, wasn't the case, how could you explain the time? The discrepancy. Quite a performance, Trite. You were almost on a roll. But sadly, you lack the rock hard foundation of rhyme, rhythm, blech, of rhythm to build your song. I didn't know Phoenix could say. What is this? Music Theory 101? <laughs> Let's recap. According to your imaginative theory, it's now just after 2 p.m. The phony Elg is performing a play for the benefit of Mr. Kudo. Not the benefit, but okay. How do yes, you explain, then, where the real Glen Elg is? He put on a play called... 
Reenacting a murder. I don't believe I have to spell this out for the court. You don't? Wow, really? Mm. <laughs> wow. Amazing. No, but... You kind of have to spell everything out to these people. Except for Maya. That would take forever. However, A T space T H A T space T I M E, uh, comma space T H E space R E A L space G L E N space E L G space W A S space A L R E A D Y space D E A D exclamation point. Oh, and by that I mean at the sad. time, the real Glen Elk was already dead. Wait, oh, 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 I, I understand that first half, but what was that second half? You sounded so smart until then. <laughs> and, and, and after that, it just sounded like you were just saying random nonsense. But, yeah, that first half, yeah. Mm. Why, uh, you are space, um, H-O-N-O-R, comma, space, Y-O-U, space, A-R-E, space, A, space, S-T-U-P-I-D, exclamation point. Why, uh, you are space, space, um, um. H O N O R comma space space Y O U space A R E space space A space S P U T I D exclamation point That's offensive. Whatever is it? Whatever it is, you said. Anyways, continue. This certainly is obvious conclusion. Uh, yes, Your Honor, it is an obvious conclusion that you are a stupid. Oh, that's not very nice. That was not an objection to Miss Faye's statement, as she was completely correct, but... Um, thank you, Trite. That's exactly what I was hoping you would say. But what? Now, I presume you can prove this theory of yours? Can you explain where the missing corpse went to? The, <laughs> the missing corpse. According to the old man's testimony, there was only one other customer there. That customer... If that customer was the phony Glen Elk, <gasps> I just solved the case. What? I just solved the case. You did? I know where Glen Elk is. I I forgot that I said that at the end of the video, but it's a good thing because now I can buy more time. Uh, anyway, so what my theory was was that, uh. Glen Elg is actually Violetta Ketervini. Because, remember, her last name apparently means corpse. So clearly, what happened was, uh, the real murderer replaced, um, put Glen Elg into some weird machine thing uh, that gave him a new identity and that was uh, and his new identity is uh, Violetta also yes that was a joke don't don't worry I don't actually believe that Nick might uh, thanks for watching Pharaoh Feral.